day, ladies and gentlemen. Over the past few months, we've been a lesson when introducing new packages and new programs to people. We have realized several things that would not have been possible had it not been for the pandemic. One, it's not speculation. It is a fact because the government has announced this is their plan. They are investing heavily into cryptocurrency. Everybody is going into cryptocurrency. Every major bank is investing in cryptocurrency. And even all of the major corporations are investing in cryptocurrency. As a matter of fact, cryptocurrency over the last couple of days have taken a bounce back from the dire consequences of individuals pulling back out of the market, thinking that it's going to somehow deflate. What we're saying is that cryptocurrency is nothing but a form of credit. Individuals who are invested in cryptocurrency, they receive credit based upon their investment. And because these individuals are making such an investment and they are receiving these credits, they're allowed to recoup the benefits of such an investment. Ladies and gentlemen, our new SAT packs and the lesson that we've learned is periodically we'll be doing videos and posting them on the SATCOM website. And it will basically have the title Omega SAT Pack associated with whatever it's covering in the titled caption of each video that are updates for the new current SAT packs. Now, many people when filling out the SAT pack are not really gonna be anything other than intimidated because there is a lot of wording, a lot of legalese, a lot of legal terminology respecting contract law. Please understand that those phrases, terms, and terminologies are general and you don't need to alter it to any large degree as they are self-applicable to each person, each person's situation. It is asked that if you want the value of that pack to remain as is, that you not alter the dollar amounts mentioned in the pack or the percentages associated with either the, arbitra the arbitration clause, the trustee, and the trustee's position and or the value of the bond. Any alterations of that will invalidate the agreement with the SACOM organization. So it is very, very important that you pay attention to this statement and not alter the agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, when you go over the agreement, there are several indicators highlighted in red, R-E-D, lettering. You are to read the red lettering for the most part. It is instructional. And as you read the red lettering, you are to understand that you are to replace the red lettering with the correct information that's being requested and remove the red lettering after you make the correction by simply highlighting and deleting it. You're to do this throughout each document. Now, if you see that there is a blank line, please read the sentence before the blank line because that will be information that you will need to fill in. Do not complete the arbitration section until the day that, or excuse me, I apologize. Do not complete the notary section until the day your documents are to be notarized. You do not have to get the document notarized as we will have a private notary. All the fees have been paid. We'll have a private notary notarize all of the documents at the exact same time. There will be no additional charges. However, if you bring documents subsequent to that, then there will be a charge for the notary's time and having the notary prepare the document a second time. Okay, with that being said, we're going to leave you all to your day, and we want to thank you for allowing us to give you this quick update on the sections of the trust agreements and how they need to be filled out.